Welcome to this week's edition of Pet Project, everybody. We're joined once again with Becca Lawrence from the Lloydminster and Community SPCA. <laughs> Becca, what do we have to chat about this week? What's the big uh, What's the big topic of the week? Yeah, so these beautiful ladies. Oh, the other one less left. Uh, these beautiful ladies are chic and vogue. So they have actually been in the shelter since they were about one month old. And uh, they were in foster for a bit because they were just obviously, you know, pretty young and needed that time. And then they were a little bit under the weather as well for a little bit. But, yeah, so now they're big and ready to go. Obviously, they've been up for adoption for a little while now. Um, you know, they hung out here for a bit. And then they hung out over at Puppy Love. And, and now, like, they're about five months old now, or six months old, sorry, now. And uh, we're just, they, they've been together for so long. So we want to adopt them out as a bonded pair. So these guys will have a bit of a modified adoption, um, adoption fee. But, uh, but yeah, we would really like to see them go to a home together. Yeah, that would certainly be lovely. And obviously cats are very social creatures. So, yeah. you know, it's always nice when you can have a pair of cats together who get along, you know, and obviously when mm -hmm. they've already bonded like that, you know, they're going to get along. And and another nice thing about having paired cats is they tend to uh, entertain each other a little bit, you know, which yeah. is something people don't talk about with cats. You know, people know that when you have a dog or you have a puppy, you got you to gotta stimulate it, right? You have to play with it. You yeah. got to take it for walks and runs and burn that energy off. Well, you have to do the same thing with cats, too, and mm -hmm. to a certain extent. And, and when you have a paired set of cats like that, they kind of help burn each other out, so to speak, That's which, is, right. which yeah. is always <laughs> nice. So if anybody out there is looking, you know, specifically if you want a nice pair of cats, Cats who get along well have already been proven. Uh, certainly, Chic and Vogue are, are good options, and I gotta say they do look adorable. I'm not sure which one it was, but at one point it was reaching out and it was trying to give you pets, like it was flipping the script on you, which was yeah. adorable. So certainly look like affectionate cats would be a lovely yeah. addition to any home. Beautiful, and we have a few other topics, so we'll just keep on going here, but you guys have yeah. some events coming up. Specifically this weekend, you guys have a big one, a big new one, yeah. uh, which is getting tacked onto the Family Expo, which people you know, know about has been a thing in the city, but this year yeah. there's a new one, which is the Collector's Con. So I'm just gonna, uh, once again, I'll let you kind of chit chat about it. We chatted about it last week a little bit, but just a reminder for anybody who maybe you know, didn't catch last week's episode for whatever yeah. reason, but uh, I'll <laughs> let you kind of give people the rundown. Yeah, so uh, it's from Babs Gaming and Sports Cards. So they just opened up here in Lloydminster last July. So not quite a year yet, but you know, they're, they're gaining traction and it's great. So they decided they want to do a collector con. So just, you know, gather up collectors and, you know, people that want to, you know, trade or sell or anything like that. And then the Family Expo invited them to join them for their weekend, which is really great. And uh, yeah, so, you know, proceeds from their silent auction and other sections of their event will come to the SPCA. And, uh, you know, great things are going on, like Henry Gizmo Williams will be there from the Edmonton Eskimos, uh, or previous Edmonton Eskimos. I'm not the hugest sports person. But. Neither am I. I'll take your word yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah, but he'll be there, you know, available for photos, autographs, things like that. So if uh, you've ever been a fan, he's definitely going to be there on Saturday, I believe. And so, yeah, that's just something. And then their silent auction is live right now. So even if you go to their Facebook page, the link will be there. But you can also like their page, the Collector Con page as well, too. And you can follow along on there. Certainly. And this is a, like I mentioned, it's a, it's a new event for the Border City. Yeah. We've never quite had something like this as far as collectibles and things go. So I know quite mm -hmm. a few people in the city who are really into, you know, things like sports cards and, and old toys and things like that, which, yeah. which I'm sure obviously will be in full attendance there. So, <laughs> you know, mark them on your calendars. It's going to be a great yes. event. So stop on by, support the SPCA, support a new event in the city, you know, so that we can keep these things coming back every year would be absolutely yeah. Absolutely yes. wonderful. And one last thing we have to touch on, Becca, which is fundraiser coming up. And this one I'm super excited about because it combines my two favorite things, which are <laughs> animals and pizza. So please, Becca, why don't we, uh, we'll just chat about that again real quick. Another local business, Spiro's, wonderful company, wonderful yes. people are helping out. And yeah, I'll just let you tell the people about what to expect. Yeah, so it's a, their pizza fundraiser. They've been doing it for quite a while now. And they, you know, obviously help all the local people, charities, everything, things like that here in the Border City. So that's amazing. So this week uh, we will be starting our pizza fundraiser. So we're just waiting on the link to post it on our website and our Facebook page. 
and that's all you have to do. You just order online. And then uh, when the pickup date, uh, I believe is the 21st of April, uh, that's when you can come to the SBCA. I'll have all the pizzas here and you can pick up your order. There you go. So obviously Spiros Pizza, amazing, you know, home yeah. style pizza. It's so delicious. It's it's not a chain. It's something that you can't get anywhere else. And it is very That's unique right. and tasty and I love it. And so, <laughs> you know, great way to get your fix and to also help out a good local charity, the SPCA. And like we mentioned before, Spiros helps out lots of local organizations and things like that. So certainly a, uh, a good event to get involved in. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this week. But I want to say thank you, Becca. I want to say thank you to Vogue and, oh, Chic. Now, <laughs> Chic, there we go. I knew how it was spelled. I was having trouble thinking of how to say it. But there we go. Vogue and Chic, thank you so much for stopping by. If you want to meet them, stop in at the SPCA and say hi. But once again, that's all the time we have for this week. So we'll speak with you guys again next week. Yes, for sure. We'll see you next week. Pet Project is sponsored by the Pet Pad. For total pet care, think Pet Pad.